Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique All Games Rain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a Let's Build video. What are Let's Build videos and what they're all about? Let's Build video, I take a model kit and I'll show you how to put it together. Now, I do this for various reasons. If there's something wrong with the sprue, as in stuff's numbered wrong, I can point out to you and let you know. If there's points of concern on the sprue, as in chains, uh, pipes, you know, things that you have to be careful of taking off, they let you know. If you suffer with dyslexia or just struggle with instructions in general, this is a visual way to help you. If you're interested in um, models for an army, but you're not sure how hard they are, or, you know, it's an army you want to start, or an army you already have, and you just think, oh, what if I got this, how easy is it to build? This is a visual way to give you guys a you know heads up and how to, how to do them and to make all models more accessible to everyone. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I see you in a minute. Right. So what am I building on this video? You would have seen by the thumbnail. I'm building Lionel Johnson. I, I missed him the, when he first went on pre-order with the blade guards. I thought it was an amazing deal. I, I missed it. Everyone missed it. It sold out in like the first 10 minutes. And now he's finally been released today. So I've got my, my hands on a copy. So I'm going to finish setting up and then come back to you with tools needed as usual and everything else. I did a little flick through the, uh, the build guide to this guy. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> I don't think by looking at him, um, he's built. He's not Angren style of build where it's just a lot of complicatedness. He's more of a close to being, you know, a bad and the spoiler, that kind of area. But so hopefully it's a good, enjoyable build. So tools needed as always. Mold line scraper. Now you can use a hobby knife or some sort of surgical blade. If you're using a bladed tool, just be careful because it is sharp and you might, you know, hurt yourself and just let anyone else know in the house you're using it so nobody scares you by accident. Clippers, most useful part of our kit. Now I have some sanding sponge. Okay. This is sanding block, but you can have sanding sponge or sanding block. It's basically foam with sandpaper around the side. Fine grit. Um, that's what it looks like brand new, but it's not used. You usually find it in a hardware shop near the sandpaper or the wallpaper, somewhere in that area. So this is a plastic kit, so plastic glue. But I do have some super glue to hand just in case I need it, which I don't think I'm going to need it for this, this particular kit. Right, so for everyone that's new, what we do now is we have a look at the sprue, or in this case sprues, and see what we can see and ascertain what's what to make our life a little bit easier. So instead of looking at the sprue and going, oh, what the hell is all this? You can actually break it down and see what it is. So look at the first sprue. We've got a big sprue and a little sprue. That's how I'm going to refer to them, okay? So on the big sprue, that's the base. This is basing material. There's a leg. There's bits of a leg that go put in front and back. Back of his cloak. There's one helmet, which is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful helmet. There's three other uh, heads there. One's, um, yeah, let's have a look, good look. One's with no, uh, nothing on him, just bare skin. One's a hooded bare skin, and the other one's just a hooded helmet, uh, cloak, uh, head. It's amazing. But this lovely piece, that goes on the base, just in there. We'll get on step when we come to it. Looks like part of his cloak. Shield. There's, looks like his arm for to hold the shield. His pistol weapon. It's front of his body. There's watchers in the dark, and another piece of watchers in the dark. There's his sword. Absolutely amazing. That's the big sprue. Now the small sprue has some cloak parts onto it. Has his backpack, his little shoulder pauldron bits. I think they are always, are they good? Do they go on his back? I think they go to the back of his, um, this bad boy. You've got the watcher arm holding the sword. You've got the watcher body. And there's a the more body of the watcher. The cloak looks, looks like it's going to be a bit of a pain in the backside to put together, but... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. There's his shoulder, shoulder pauldrons. Look at that. That's just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to really see that in gold. Then wash it down and, and I'm just get carried away now with colours. Right. 
So the, what I'm going to do now is finish getting set up and then I'm going to come back to you with the first pieces. Right, so the first piece is needed. It's number three, which is this crazy ass looking piece. And number two, which is this piece here. So I'm going to snip them, clean them and show you how they go together. Right, so number three, as you can see in my hand, there's a little rectangular bit in there. There's a little rectangle bit there. So that just slots on there, like so. Okay, nice and easy. So that's, that's a foot. So we have to dry. So the next piece is needed is number one. So I'm going to snip it, clean it, and show you how it goes together. Right, so this foot piece, there's a little rectangular bit at the back. There's a square hole that just goes in there, like so. Looking quite nice so far. Give it a dry now. The next piece, is, piece needed, still on the big sprue, is number four, which is this shin guard piece. I'm going to snip it, clean it, and show you how it goes on. This appears to be very straightforward. So this piece just slots in there. Okay. So I'm going to glue that into place. But take note, don't put glue up here. It's only the bottom part. So what I would do is I would run glue along that little piece there and this little piece here up to the little circle, yeah? Then put that in. And then if you need to dab a bit of glue here or there, just do it. So I'm going to just glue that into place and we'll look at the next piece. Right, so the next piece needed is number six. Just be careful because this is part of that leg, okay? Number six and number eight. Okay, so I'm going to slip both these pieces off, clean them down, and I'll show you how it goes on. Right, it's another easy piece. There's a little rectangular bit in there. There's a rectangular bit in the front there. And that's where it goes, it just slots on over the top like that. Okay, I'm not sure about lining it up with this way because you can't see it. That bottom bit goes around the, the little ball on this ankle. Okay, so I'm going to glue that into place and then come up for the next piece. And the next piece is number seven. I'm going to snip clean, show you how it goes on. Again, this is the same. So it's the bit on the back, but the back of the leg, it just slots up in there. Okay. That's the right way, that's the wrong way. So we'll do it the right way. Yeah, see how it goes in. So I'm going to glue that into place and come back, show you how it goes into the model. This might be the bit where you have to glue it and leave it because this, uh, this looks like it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass bit. Now, in here, it's a little V shape. It's a little V shape there that just slots in there like that see that okay so it looks like one of those pieces where you have to glue it and then leave it for a couple of hours to dry properly right the next piece needed is number nine so i'm going to snip that clean that show you how it goes on right, so i took number nine off and i couldn't figure out how it went on how it connected together so I had to look at the instructions again, trying to figure out if I could get a look at the image and see, if, you know, the way it goes. That's when I realised I missed a piece. <laughs> My eagerness, I jumped ahead. So number five is what we need next. Okay, we need number nine afterwards, but number five is what we need next. I'm going to snip that, clean that, I'll show you how it goes on. Right, so number five, we've got the contours of it. It just slots in there. Like so. Okay, it just sticks to the side of that cloak there. I'm going to glue it into place and then I come back for number nine then. And it's a number nine. Okay, there's a little little crease right there, a little fold round on the tip there. The tip goes up in there, connects to that point there, in that little gap. So be careful, it's still wet the bit I've just put on. And then just basically it's in there like that okay so i'm going to glue that into place 
and then we'll come back for the next piece. Now, so the next piece is number 10, which is chest piece. I'm going to snip it, clean it, and show you how it goes on, but let's have a look at that little detail now. It's actually amazing. So we're going to snip it, clean it. Now, so this chest piece just fits over the top. Goes in a little gap. Little piece comes to this side. If I see the contours of the, the arm and everything else, I just had it just off camera now, now it doesn't look over here, it just doesn't look like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue that into place. Just going to see if I can probably the disc keep coming loose. Glue that into place and then I'll come back to you for the next piece. Now, one thing I just realised, I'm going to get in there. This little bit here where the shield is, top of the belt there, there's a little, little triangle bit that comes out. And the chest piece that goes in, there's a little V shape in there. So as I put that in, I had to then push that into place and it just slotted into that little bit. So when you're doing yours, I would say the best way is to follow what I've just done. Because if you put that in first, number five, this shield piece, and it's slightly wrong, by the time you put the leg on and put this, you know, the bit of cloth on and then put the chest piece in, that's going to be off. So I would... Do what I've done, put the leg in first, then do number five, which is this little piece here. Then put number nine in, using plastic glue, and then the same, just put the clean the chest, put that in. So you can slot them all in together. So put that piece on first, number five. Give it five minutes or so to start to get tacky. Then put number nine in, and then come straight in with number ten, and just line them up nicely. Right, so the next piece needed is... Number 11, which is a tiny little piece. But it's going to be on a small pack, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Number 11. So I'm going to slip that, clean that, and I'll show you how that goes on. And it's very straightforward. He has this weird little shapes on it. And they have the same little weird shapes in there. So it's literally, you see this... You see this one that sticks up? Just going in that side. Okay, so I'm going to glue down to place and then come back for the next piece. Now back onto the big sprue. We need number 12, which is his pistol. Hey, you're not focusing. There we go. So I'm going to snip that, clean that, show you how that goes on. Now this is a weird piece now. So you've got the shield. But there's a little groove here. Yeah. And there's a little nibble bit that goes in there. Now on the gun. You've got all the detail. Because that's, that's the bit that shows outwards. But on the other side. You've got that little V shape. So it just goes in. Like that. Okay. You'll be forgiven if you don't get this bond perfect. But it goes on something like that. Okay, and basically the gun's there just to cover up all that, that silliness there. So I'm going to glue that into place, and then we'll come back to them for the next piece. Right, now we start getting to the fun parts. <coughs> we need 15, no sorry, 13, 14, and 15. All the cloak parts, I'm going to, they're on the small sprue. So I'm going to slip those, clean those. And we're still going to have fun putting these together. Right, it's actually a bit more straightforward than I thought. Number 13. This is number 14. Now, bear in mind, there's these little funny nibble bits at the end. It's funny shapes when you take off the sprue, you keep them on there. Because, as you can see, that goes in there. And the contours of it goes around. Yeah, you can see it all just lining up nicely. And then, number 15. Obviously, that's the outside of the cloak. So number 15 just slots in. It doesn't slot underneath. That's my first thought. It slots, the bottom part goes over the top. And it just slots in like that. Okay. So it gives you your nice flowing cloak for the other side. So I'm going to glue those pieces together. And then come back to you for the next piece. And so then, <coughs> this piece <coughs> connects across the top. Like so. Okay. So I'm going to glue that into place and then I'm going to come back for the next pieces 
Right, so the next piece needed is number 16, which is this crazy part. It's on the small sprue, so I'm going to snip it, clean it, and I'll show you how it goes on. Right, so then this piece, there's a little bit of the front there that goes to the front of the model. Yeah, you see a little gap in between that just slots in there. Okay, I'm not going to push it in because I'm going to get some glue into it. I'm going to glue it and then come back to you guys. Right, next piece needed is number 17, which is this lion's mane. Yeah, so I'm going to snip that, clean that. Um, by the looks of it, doesn't need... Well, I'll clip it off first, and then I'll, if there's any bits that I'm not sure about that bit there. So the stairs have to come off, but I'll check when I when I take it off. I'm going to take it off here, and then I'll just dry fit and see... <coughs> It's another reason why you should always drive it because if, if if that is to come off then you just snip it off afterwards if it's not to come off then you've kept it on there all you have to do is just clean it down make sure it's can fit in properly with own little, little bits protruding right so that little bit has to come off okay now you see there's a little weird flat square bit there this bit sits up here like so okay on his shoulder, and this bit comes up as far as I can. So I'm going to glue that into place, and then come back for the next piece. Let me just clarify myself a little bit here. So this piece here, you can see, slots in there perfect. I didn't realise until I actually put it in. And went, oh, hold on. Even though I did dry fit it, and it, oh, you go somewhere like that. As soon as I put it on, that's when it decided it's going to stay, and that's the way it should be, which is nice. So, the next piece needed, my right, next two pieces are 18 and 19, okay? Now 18 goes on that side of the model, no, sorry. I'm going to snip them off because they're both very different. I'm going to snip them off, clean them down, and then I'll show you where each one goes. I'm going to look at the model from the back. The lion helmet goes over here. Okay, hence the square, and the other one goes the other side. So I'm going to glue them into place, and then come back to you for the next pieces. My next piece needed is another small piece, number 21. So I'm going to snip it, clean it, show you how it goes on. My giant hands are struggling with this piece. So basically there's a dark angel symbol on there. But it goes on here, okay, on these suckies all. They're called to go on the wrist, wrist brace, bracer goes on there, okay, like so. So, I'm going to glue it into place and then come back to you for the next piece. So, the next piece is number 20, which is this little fiddly piece. I'm going to snip it, clean it, show you how it goes on. And so, basically, it's a square there, just square on that. That just sits in there, so I'm going to glue that in. Right, so the next piece needs back to the big sprue. Is number 23, which is this. I know, I, I would, I've, I've looked at the instructions in front of me, so I know, but that's, they go together. Okay, that's his shield arm. So I'm going to sit it up, clean that down, show you how it goes on. Right, so there is a little widget there. There's a little widget there, so it just slots in there. Okay, so I'm going to glue that onto place and then come back to the next piece. Right, the piece we need now, we need number 22, number 24. Now, just because you glued the arm on for the shield, I'd leave that for a few minutes. Um, so go with 22, which is a sword arm. It's absolutely lovely. Anyway. Right, so the sword arm. There is a flat piece there. Flat piece there, it just glues straight into there. Okay, now this is going to be, uh, you see how it slots underneath the, the wrist as well? I drew it along there and on the palm of the wrist just to hold it in place or use super glue because that's, that's one of those pieces that the gravity is going to try and 
and let it fall down. But again, I'm going to glue this in because it takes a couple minutes to hold it into place until it stays. Right, so the next thing needed is number 24, which is his shield. I'm going to slim it down and clean it and show you how it goes on. Right, as you can see, there's a big square hole. There's a big well, rectangular hole, there's a big rectangular plug. So it just goes in there. So I'm going to glue that into place and we'll come to the next piece. Now this is a very straightforward part. So we need 25, 26 and 27. Okay, 27 goes this side, 26 goes that side. Yeah, very, very nice layout on the screw, very easy to do. Now there's three spiky bits on there. There's three holes. Nope, that's not how it goes on. I'll snip this off, snip that off, clean them down. I'll show you how one goes on because that one goes on the same way. That's very straightforward. I thought the holes went over the spikes, but they don't. So this little piece here slots in there like that. So it sits on the back of it like that. And the other side is the same. So I'm going to glue this in, clean the other one off, glue it in. And then come at you for the show how it goes on. In the backpack, for those of you that couldn't guess it, it goes on that square bit at the back. There's a square hole, just get my big fingers out of the way, that just slots on there like so. Don't know why I keep having the habit of just taking them all off camera. Don't know why. I do apologise, guys. So I'm going to leave that for a moment to dry and then start getting the next pieces ready. Now it's decision decision time. So you can have this amazing helmet here, which I'm not going to pick because I've got that eyed up for another project. Or you got one of these lovely heads. Focus. Bare head. The hooded bare head or the hooded um, helmeted head. I'm going to go with the helmeted head because I just think it's absolutely menacing. And I think the colours that I've I've come up with for the cloak is going to go really perfect there with the church colours. If you're taking the winged helmet, that's what you put on. If you're picking one of these ones, you get his uh, halo thing as well. So we'll start with the halo. I'm going to snip that down carefully. Okay, you see this little bit by my finger down what I'm tapping? That has to stay on there. So I'm going to snip, snip the two bits off, carefully clean it down, and I'll show you how it goes on. Right, so I've waxed some glue on that little lip. And that just slots in between the bits on top of the plug pack, which is still not going to have us come on. Okay, that's slightly off. I'm going to go off camera and fiddle with it. It's meant to go between the two little, see the little bit that side, the square? It's meant to go between the two of those. There we go. <laughs> go off camera and do it. No, I'm just doing camera. That's just amazing. Now, how do I hold them? Right, so I'm going to. Snip the head off that I want. And you can see there's a little funny groove in there. I think the heads have the funny groove on the bottom as well. Yeah, they do. See that? So that's where that goes into. It just slots into there. So I'm going to hold this to dry for a few minutes. Then I'm going to snip the head off, glue that into place, and then we'll come back for the next piece. Right, so the lion's done. It's just his base now. So for his base, we need number 33 and number 34. I'm going to stiff and clean them and show you how they go on. Right, there's an amazing piece, by the way. That goes straight to there, like so. So I'm going to glue that into place and come back for the next piece. Right, so the next bit is number 40, which is this little piece on the big sprue. And number 41, which is his other little piece. I'm going to stiff them, clean them, show you how they go together. It's very, very straightforward. There's a hole. 
Thanks for focusing on me. What are you doing? So I'll just try and focus on extreme light, I don't know why. There's a hole in there. There's a little pin in there. So that just slots in like so. So I'm going to glue that into place and make the next piece. So the next piece needed is number 39. It's on the big sprue again. I'm going to snip it clean and show you how it goes on. This is really straightforward. This is the bottom of the watcher. This is the top. It just slots in like so. Will join line there, but you with actually no, just it's a join line, but it doesn't actually. That's the top of his his hood, and he's wearing robes underneath. So it's handy enough. The next piece is telling me, I'm throwing the small screw on myself, is number uh, forty three and forty two. So I'm going to snip those off, clean those down carefully. I'd say carefully with this as well because once it comes off the sprue desk top it's going to be a bit flexible I mean, this is very tidy so there's a hot square rectangle pole in there and there's a little bit that sticks there see the little the little tooth that just slots in there like so this is going to be one of those moments you have to hold it for a couple of minutes or just super glue it i'm going to go off camera and glue it hold it together off camera so now the little botcher has two little slots in his arms. This has two little slots, two little pins in his wings there that glues into each other, and that's him done. And we move on to the next watcher. Right, so everything for the other watcher is on the small sprue. So the first thing we need is number 38 and number 37, which is a sword and this little weird shape here. I'm going to clean them off, clip them and clean them, show you how they go together. Nice, very straightforward, very quickly, but very straightforward. This small piece goes in there. So you've got the scabbard of the sword. Now if, you, if you look at that and go, oh, I don't like the look at that, and the piece at the end, don't look in the camera. All I do is drop a little bit of plastic glue. Not even squeezing it, just rubbing the little excess from the end of the tip. That's that bit done. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's him done. So the next piece is needed a number 36 and 35, the last two pieces. I'm going to stick those off, clean those down, and show you how they go together. Right, so it's very easy. This bit glues into there. Okay. So you just put it on behind. It glues into that. So I'm going to glue that into place and then show you how the sword goes on. Right, so the scarab, the scabbard, sorry, glues in like that. The wrist. Hitting that part because it's two, two flat surfaces, two flat surfaces. I'm going to glue it into place and I'll come back and show you how all the base goes together and how he goes on the base. Right, so here's the fun part. So we'll start with this. Now, this, this lovely, you know, I think it's a fallen dark angel model because he's got the wing coming around, he's got the sword in front of him. Absolutely amazing. But I fit in perfectly in my crimson wing skull, dark angel successor chapter. This the wind and the skulls and anyway. So I'm gonna run some glue along the edge of this. This bit will be a couple of minutes on off uh, filming time just because this is one of those things that if it's not done right the whole model fails. So you put it on, yeah. 
you've got the square hole that goes in the face itself. You've got a square hole here, you've got two foot holes. Okay, so that's, that's very straightforward to start with. The square hole, he goes into. Okay, so this part of his this part of his base sits on the actual base base. And then this lad has a flat surface, he goes over this side. Okay, now in the, the bottom of the sword hangs off the base. Don't panic about that if you do that and does it. Now you can easily put this guy at the front here if you want to. I wouldn't suggest I'd have, I'd have him towards the back here. Actually, you might move that over a little touch. Give him a little bit more space. So before I glue those two guys in, I'm just going to run some glue along the edge of the plastic and the base to make it that even more. So there we are, they're glued in. Now, Mr. Johnson himself has two pegs on his feet. You can see where they go. Now I would try and dry fit it first of all, to see if you've got it lined up correctly. That is, that's perfect. Well done. Not to me to Games Workshop to, uh, for, for having legs and pegs, that, you know, for having a model where legs go on separately with pegs at the bottom that line up in a specific place and actually works properly. Because if you if you saw the Angron video, when I did Angron, one of the pegs was slightly off and that was my fault, I believe. But it's, it's one of those hard things to do to try and you're doing it at the beginning for something that lines up at the end. But if if you drive it like I just did and they don't line up and you can't get them in, get your clippers, snip those off, yeah, and then just put the glue on the foot and glue it because he's got his little footprints to go in there, so it's nice and easy. Anyway, I'm going to glue him into place, come back with a final pulse and some pretty pictures. Wow, is what I can say. This model is absolutely the dog's nuts. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I've looked at his data card, his index card, and I'll tell you what, it's, he is hardcore on the table. He can't lead any units, but he has like special things where he has a six inch aura buff that helps units around him. Um, he has one of three abilities that he can pick every turn. And I can't remember the other two, but the one that sticks out to me the most is he has the ability... I think it's 12 inches, and any if any opponent uses a stratagem on a unit that's within 12 inches of him, I roll a dice. Well, first thing, I get a command point, which is very handy. But then I roll a dice, and on a 4 plus, I think it is, the stratagem that your opponent is trying to play is cancelled, but he still spends the CP to play it. So essentially, you're, de you're stopping your opponent from you know using stratagems and... He's actually, that's just one of his abilities. So he's got two other abilities, but you can only pick one per turn. You can pick the same one every turn if you want to, but yeah, he's... Now, in terms of difficulty building this model, I'd give this model a three, in all honesty. It's very, very straightforward. The only fiddly parts on this model that I'm going to say is the small shield parts that go on. Yeah? There's one on his knee, there's one on his arm, he's uh, shot chest piece there even the one on his shoulders is pretty straightforward i would say the sword actually went on easier than i thought it would do which is surprising i actually thought he was going to just keep trying to pull off and i thought i'd have to get super glued to it but no that went on perfectly i think the the hilt of the sword his handle lines up perfectly with underneath of his wrist and there's no detail there there's like a little funny little groove for it to go into and it fits in there perfectly i think that's great the cloak actually gave me no problems at all. I was expecting that to be, you know, a complete pain in the hole. And but no, it actually brilliant. The watches put together, fantastic. I thought this little um, banner bit coming off coming off his little stand thing was going to give me problems. No, perfect. I don't think any part of this model gave me any problems. There's only a few fiddly parts. But apart from that. Now, I know the number five, I think it was, that I said it was at the beginning, the bit that goes in and then you put number nine on. Do do that the way that I did it. 
Okay. So I I messed up and went ahead and didn't realise I missed number five off. But when I actually come to put it on, it actually worked in my it was a happy you know a happy accident because they all lined up together. So if you put number five on first and then have to go off a little one, come back and that's all dry and it's not quite in properly, you're gonna have a little gap. So just do number five, number nine, and then number ten, the chest piece. Or, you know, at the same time. So with plastic glue, so if there is any sort of issues. You've got a little bit of time to play with it and just move it around a little bit. Um, I love this model. I absolutely love it. I'm delighted I finally have it. Delighted to have it built. Colour-wise, my, my little brain is going crazy with what colours I'm going to put on it and the way that I'm going to do it. And I'm quite excited. And yes, it will be in the vote for Wednesday. Um, along with the hex mark that I did yesterday. Anyway, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel... Hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing and it helps the channel out in a massive, massive way. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. And for everyone that's um, supported the channel for all this time and comments on videos and, you know, a massive, massive thank you to all of you because it means so much to me. Everyone, please smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to share this video with more and more people. And makes this lovely community grow, especially as this model only came out yesterday officially. I know it was on pre order, but that was 10 minutes and it was all sold out. But this model came out yesterday, so there'll be people sitting down today to do this, or people sitting down later this afternoon to do this. You know, if you hit this, the thumbs up button, it could trigger it so they actually get to look at it and go, Oh, hold on a minute. And they get the heads up of, especially with that, that bit I was talking about with the, the three bits there. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Any comments or anything, chuck them below. Hit the buttons for me. And until next time, take it easy.